So uh, this is my setup so far. It's a bit tight today, first wedding, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I think I'll do all right. We've got uh, two scanners, uh, just standard mirror, as you can see. And then uh, two of those party lights that you just saw. So um, let's see how we go. I've got a basic console from the Music Man. Needs a bit of a clean up though. Can't wait to get my own equipment. But anyway, I'll keep going and I'll show you a little bit later. That's me set up. Took me about an hour and a half. That was taking it pretty slow. I'm just uh, working my through my way through it all. I should be behind the desk here. I've got my Stanton um, C313s and just a Stanton the 202 mixer. Nice system actually. It's pretty basic, but uh, I've gotten really comfortable with it, and I know. It's ins and outs, so it's easier to use that than uh, get in the Pioneer system. Uh, and that's connected to a very nice, if you can uh, read that, E system Pro. Which is a very nice amp, it's uh, 1200 watt aside, um, which are connected to the Yamaha 15 and horns. So it's a pretty basic setup, I use it everywhere. Um, for both DJing and for live acoustic stuff and whatever else I do. I'm not actually going to film anything from tonight because that's the first gig I don't really want to get involved with that sort of thing. But um, that's my setup and I'll give you a rundown once I've finished. Oh, well I remember this is the room I'm working in. So I'm in one corner and I'll give you a pan round. That's the dance hall there, so uh, it's a bit of a small room. We've only got seating probably for about a hundred, hundred and fifty maybe. So it's gonna be a bit intimate, so we'll see how we go. So yeah, I just uh, finished at that wedding. Pretty good night actually. It was a lot more mid-30s and up sort of crowd, so it wasn't so much of a dance dance party, but um, put out a lot of the classic songs, like, uh, I'm just driving at the moment, so I'm gonna try and concentrate a little bit. Um, just those classic songs like Mickey, and. Uh, dance floor fillers. It's an excellent CD for these sort of parties. Um, grab any of the dance floor filler stuff and it works a treat. I actually find I can use Ministry of Sound CDs as well, but I try and avoid that if I can. It's a little bit of a cheating way. Um, but yeah, the party went, well, the wedding was really good, considering it was my first actual wedding ever. And uh, I didn't let the bride or groom know that, so. They seemed really, really happy with what I was doing. They thought I was professional, so I think it went pretty well. Uh, I did capture a little bit of footage, like a eight second clip, just to show you what it looked like at night. It looked pretty good. I was just using sound of light with all the lights. I actually lost um, one of the um, scanners right at the start, just decided not to turn on, so I um, only had one scanner, but didn't make any difference whatsoever, the uh, the lead pars that I've actually got, I should have mentioned that, but I've got a lead pars, they went really well, um, they always look really nice actually, and yeah, the two little uh, DJ lights that I had worked fine, I'm happy with that. Food was good. Food's always good for so. It's um, a bit strange though, they weren't serv serving it. They had a bistro style where you went up and got your meal from uh, the Bay Marie, which was, I wouldn't call that great service on a wedding, but it worked. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll have more gig vlogs out soon.
um, if I keep getting work. So, see how we go. Practice and enjoy.